Killing tons of zombies is boring. That phrase pretty much ranks as number one on the list of phrases never said by any gamers ever. So we all know that killing zombies is fun, right? And which game provides the most fun and unusual ways of killing thousands of zombies? That's right, Dead Rising. What's going on guys, it's Dan here and today I'm going to be talking about the top 5 features of Dead Rising 4. Xbox announced that Dead Rising 4 will be released later this year, sometime around the Christmas period, with a short teaser trailer. Since then, there has been a couple of announcements stating a bunch of features that will be in the game, so without further delay, let's get started. At number 5, we have a new and old setting. When Dead Rising 4 releases in December this year, it will have been a whole 10 years since the first game in the series. The very fact that it has almost been a decade since the first time I played Dead Rising is scary enough in itself, but to celebrate the 10th anniversary of this fantastic series, Capcom Vancouver have decided to return to the series roots. As always, the game will be set in an open world area infested by tens of thousands of zombies for you to kill in interesting ways. And just like the first game in the series, the game will be set in the small town of Willamette, Colorado, and the huge shopping mall that exists there. The main difference between this setting and the one in the original game, other than that the map has been expanded in size, is that the mall is now fully decked out for the holiday season, meaning that thanks to American consumerism around Christmas time, we can expect to see all kinds of new items to pick up and combine together to make the perfect zombie killing machines. Next, at number four, it is varying types of zombies. One thing that has hindered the previous three entries to the game is the lack of much zombie variation. Capcom have upped the ante in Dead Rising 4 by introducing two new base kinds of zombie. As always, there will be the basic horde zombies, which there are thousands of, just waiting for you to slice, dice, crush, explode, implode and much more. But on top of that, Capcom are introducing the freshly infected. These are survivors who can get bitten by the normal horde zombies and then, as they turn, they become frantic monsters with glowing red eyes that can run fast and strike hard. This is great because it gives you more motivation to save every survivor you come across and prevent more freshly infected zombies from showing up. On top of that, Capcom are introducing the Evo zombies. Although we don't know a massive amount about these zombies yet, we do know that they appear to be a more developed form of zombie that have more intelligence. Apparently, they will be able to dodge your attacks, run and hide when in danger, and use cover to sneak up on you and surprise attack you. These two new kinds of zombies are going to add a lot of variation to the game, forcing you to adopt your zombie killing technique on the fly. Halfway there at number three, we have the return of Frank West. Over the three games so far in the series, we have seen three different protagonists, and none of them have been as popular as Frank West in the original Dead Rising game. Although both Chuck Green from Dead Rising 2 and Nick Ramos from Dead Rising 3 had their strong points, there was something about Frank West in the first game that made every player love his style. It is great to see Frank return to the series. The fact that he is a journalist rather than an engineer means the reintroduction of the mystery elements in the game. Frank has returned to Willamette for a reason, and by the look of the trailers, it seems to be a new complicated mystery once again relating to the zombie outbreak that will be enjoyable to unravel. On top of that, what journalist turned zombie hunter heads out without his trusty camera? Whether you want to take a photograph for evidence when solving the mystery, or just want to get a nice selfie with this zombie, this is simply another way to enjoy yourself in the Dead Rising universe. Smashing its way through the horde at number 2, we have comboing yourself. Any fan of the series will know how comboing items works in Dead Rising. All you have to do is find two items lying around on the ground, then use some of your trusty magical duct tape along with a bit of engineering know-how and you've got a whole new combo weapon to split some zombie skulls with. Just as Dead Rising 3 introduced some new comboing with huge zombie destructive vehicles, Dead Rising 4 is introducing comboing yourself. At some point in the story, Frank will come across a military grade exosuit, which can provide you with enough strength to rip a parking meter out of the ground and use it like a baseball bat, or even tear a zombie in two. But if that isn't enough for you, why not combo it with a slurpee machine and freeze zombies with your punches, or even unleash an ice tornado for maximum zombie killing effectiveness? Finally, at the pinnacle of features in Dead Rising 4, we have no timer system. This is actually a strange feature to put at the top of our list, mainly because it isn't really an addition of a new or even an old feature, but the removal of one. Every game in the Dead Rising series 
has been known to include a kind of timer system for all quests, including the main campaign. While this was an interesting new way of forcing players to choose between which quests they had to do and which ones weren't as important, it's always meant that a lot of players, myself included, felt rushed to complete the campaign and weren't able to fully explore the open world. Speaking to Games Master, an executive producer on the game said in an interview that the time constraints were being removed so that if you want to play the campaign, you can do that, but if you just want to run around killing zombies in crazy different ways, you can do that as well. I personally feel so happy that with all these great new features that I have already mentioned in this video, it will be fantastic to be able to take the time to enjoy them rather than being rushed and not get to fully experience all the different combinations of zombie killing madness. So there we have it. Those are Digital Pinnacle's top 5 features that will be included in Dead Rising 4. We only have a short wait until the game is available as it is expected for release worldwide on December the 6th. Thanks for watching our video. We hope it has helped you get excited for this zombie killing extravaganza. Don't forget to like and share. And if you aren't subscribed to our channel yet, now is a great time to do so as we are always uploading new content as often as possible. You can head over to our channel page to see all of our other videos. Thanks for watching.